Get up there, get up. Get up and get that beautiful shot of the... Oh, God. You're watching Cheap Thing versus Expensive Thing. The show where filmmaking gear is put to the financial test. Today, can this $50 copycat drone take on the real deal $1,400 Mavic 2 Pro? I'm your filmmaker host, Griffin Hammond, and today I am in Westchester County, just north of New York City, to flight test these two drones. To find out if these drones are worth the money, today I'm subjecting them to three tests, portability, flight maneuverability, and image quality. With a 22-inch wingspan, the DJI Mavic 2 Pro will be the largest quadcopter I've flown, weighing in at two pounds. One third of that body weight comes from its big battery, which promises 31 minutes of flight time. The $50 Esheen E58 Pocket Drone weighs only one-tenth as much, 3.4 ounces. That is far below the FAA registration limit, meaning the FAA requires I pay a one-time $5 registration fee for the Mavic and tag it with its call letters. In the government's eyes, this Esheen is a toy and isn't heavy enough to require registration. I mean, that's another $5 savings right there. Just the fact that I can legally fly it out of the box and that it's easy for me to find a little case to transport it in, the tiny Esheen E58 definitely beats the Mavic in terms of portability. After charging the tiny battery, pairing the controller and the iPhone app, the first flight test is the Esheen E58. Oh man, I, I don't even think there's very much wind right now, but I think I'm fighting it. Its controls are responsive. It's not that difficult to fly, but it's just not powerful enough for even a light breeze. Most of the time, I'm chasing it as it slowly drifts away. But just when I gain enough confidence to give it some altitude, it suddenly loses power. Oh no! <laughs> I'm not sure if I ran out of battery, but it just came down. And then the battery popped out. I crashed a few times. Luckily, it's a lightweight drone, so I never damaged it. But I kept having this issue. Either I'd go too high and maybe lose connection with the RC controller, or without warning, the battery would die. What? There's never any indication it's about to fall out of the sky. <laughs> By comparison, the expensive Mavic 2 Pro gives me lots of data. I have a clear readout of the battery life in the DJI app and on the RC controller screen. So the big difference is the DJI drone here has GPS. So if I don't touch the sticks, it pretty much stays in the exact same spot. The Mavic 2 Pro easily wins the flight maneuverability test. It's yeah. fast, precise, really easy and enjoyable to fly and no issues with the wind. While the Mavic 2 Pro shoots 4K video with a three-axis gimbal and one-inch sensor, the Esheen E58 captures 720 HD video with a manually adjustable, very fisheye lens. To assess image quality, I did one more flight test with the E58. The goal this time to capture the smoothest, most cinematic shot I could. Let's attempt a simple crane shot moving away from this building. This is me trying to move both quadcopters away from the building in a straight line, and the E58 doesn't get very high before it plummets to the ground. And I don't understand all this laggy video. This isn't a wireless connection. It's recording directly to the internal micro SD card. So the Mavic clearly wins the image quality test. Esheen has done a lot to copy the styling of the Mavic, from the design of this foldable drone to even the shape of the remote. So I think it's hilarious that these remotes are identical in shape. The funny thing though is the Mavic remote has this place to put your phone and this one has the same shape here, but these things don't move. It actually uses this thing to hold your phone. 
I'm pretty sure these plastic antennae aren't actually antennae like on the Mavic remote. They are purely cosmetic. It's easy to dismiss the Isshin E58 pocket drone as just a cheap knockoff. But for its $50 price tag, I'm actually super impressed with how many features they've packed in and how much fun it delivers. But there can only be one winner, and this time it is the DJI Mavic 2 Pro. I know it's an expensive drone, but for me this comes down to trust. Can I put this thing in the air? Will it go where I want it to go? Can it handle a small amount of wind? And will it bring back beautiful images? I mean, the Isshin E58 is a fun little drone to fly around, but if your goal is to get footage that you can use, I'm not sure I could point that thing at the thing I want to get footage of. This thing I know I can make some mistakes and it'll cover for me. This is the first time I'm flying with the Isshin E58 and with the Mavic 2 Pro. Usually I fly with a Mavic Air. It's kind of the middle priced drone between these two. I love how compact it is, how portable. The only problem with this drone is that it loses transmission signal sometimes with the RC controller. But other than that, I've grown to really trust this drone and it's become my go-to when I travel. You can find this and all the gear that I use at griffinhammond.com slash gear. Thank you for watching Cheap Thing versus Expensive Thing and be sure to join me next time when I go underwater to test out a $42 bag versus $2,000 worth of underwater housing.